Konbanwa. This is Russell Brown from Adobe Systems in Tokyo to take you through some night photography tips and techniques. We're going to go all the way to the top of that building and start this episode, then slowly come down to ground level, taking photographs all the way to capture the Shibuya Scramble area. It's gonna be great. So I'm here at a really nice vantage point here in Shibuya in Tokyo, Japan. Really gorgeous location, nice light. I'm gonna do a panorama here with my iPhone. It's really quite amazing results from a panorama. I noticed that my um, night mode came on as I was up here working with the iPhone. Get some really nice results with a little bit longer exposure. A significant amount of the noise drops out and a much more detail in the shadows um, with the night mode. Oh my, Mount Fuji is appearing out of the clouds from this vantage point. We are essentially on top of the world here. There is not a building as tall as this building. Pretty amazing. Then out of nowhere, these amazing beams of light appeared on the rooftop. What a great opportunity to test the iPhone's night mode. I've got this set to the, um, the wide angle on my iPhone 11. It's doing quite a nice job. Let's see what uh, vertical's gonna get. Oh yeah. Well, that is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, here we are in Shibuya Scramble. That's right, Shibuya Scramble here in Tokyo. It is one of the busiest intersections and here they go, wow. The challenge I have before me is how can I capture the excitement and mayhem that happens here when thousands of people cross the street. See this transition that just happened now. Thousands or more are lining up on the edge. What a crazy place. I'm gonna go around here and experiment and see what I can capture. How can I capture this scene here at night in Shibuya Scramble? I've taken this first advantage point here. It's got its problems. Neon lights behind us, reflecting in the glass. But if I put my camera close enough, I can reduce the amount of glare. I've tried a different combination of exposures here. I was first trying for a long exposure to see the blur of the people. I didn't like it much. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna capture a time lapse so I can take individual frames out of the time lapse and perhaps get a pattern of the people going across. Because in Photoshop, I can extract every 10 frames and that way I'll have the path of the person without a motion blur. Sort of creativity on the spot. Sometimes you have to do that with a situation like this. Don't have the ideal angle and you can't get the whole area. So I'm gonna try this time-lapse approach and then extract frames from the time-lapse. Pretty wacky. The challenges of the Shibuya scramble. You need a little bit of elevation. I've got my tripod here and extend it up a bit. I need to get the shape of the um, sidewalk and the people crossing. Anything lower than that, you're just gonna see people moving. I might even try one right in the middle. I'll just go running out into the middle and maybe even go into a wide angle. Let's see how fast I can run out there. <laughs> tried everything up above, in the middle, on the ground. Let's shoot it from a car moving through Shibuya. This would be crazy. I've got my Ricoh Theta Z1 here, high resolution camera. I've got it in the video mode. This camera is stabilized somewhat, so I'm just holding it here. I'm not putting it on the car. The car shakes it too much. If you put the camera high enough, and then you look down on the scene, it has sort of a bird's eye view looking down on the car here as we're driving along. Really interesting shot. I've mounted the camera sometimes to a roof, but I don't find it's quite the same look. Of course, I don't want to go too high and hit one of these bridges that we're going past. Don't forget, you can learn more from videos like this on my Lightroom YouTube Russell Brown playlist. 
you'll also find the tips and techniques I use to create many of the images you've seen in this video. 